Hello, welcome pen friends. My name is Chris and I'm back with another video. And I guess, I am pretty sure you can guess what this is about because the ink journal box is here. It's been in my house for a couple of days, but I was just determined to finish um, our Viewer's Choice 2 series before I opened this and started looking at, at uh, what's happening in this box. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, maybe this is your first time to see this video. Um, it's a monthly subscription box and it, you can get the box, which is $25, um, and you get seven ink samples and some pen goodies, or you can just get the, uh, samples for, I think it's 14. And then depending on where you're having it shipped, you, you know, you'll have a, you might have a different shipping that, that I don't know about, but it's from Ink Journal and I'll link their information at the, um, in the uh, description of this video. But what I usually do is come on and open the box and then we swatch out the colors to see what, what's up. Now last month it was from a company called Three Oysters uh, that make, makes ink from Korea. So let's get in here. Let's see what's happening. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm always so excited. Okay, I've got the box all opened up here, but let's get in here. <clears throat> all right, they always send an itinerary. Welcome ink travelers. After a long journey in search of the world's best fountain pen inks, we invite you to enjoy a selection of homemade ink recipes inspired by the colors of the season. These inks are delicately crafted using platinum's mix-free colors. After much trial and error and extensive testing, we're proud to offer these exclusive colors to members of our ink flight. Wow! Wow, this is different. So we're <clears throat> we're not looking at a company. We're looking at something very unique. Douglas fir. It says deep green. Pumpkin pie. Sugar plum. A velvet purple. Candy cane. Pinkish red. Silver bells. Ooh. Lightly saturated gray. Okay. Snow begetting. This icy light blue. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Burnished gold sits by the fire. Sit by the fire and write with this warm, inviting brownish amber. Oh my goodness! Okay, well let's get in here and see. All right, they they tell you what's in here on the back of your itinerary. Chromatography strips. Ooh, I've never owned any real ones. I've cut up some coffee filters, which were really cheap ones from the dollar store. So this is a first for me. I, I've never had any real ones. Okay, be kind to your tines. Ooh, this is soft. This is like something you would clean your glasses with or something. Let's see here. All right, so for cleaning, awesome. Okay, this box is really heavy. Look in there, perfect pen flush. No wonder it's heavy. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> Seems to be plastic. Ooh. JB's Perfect Pen Flush. Just in time because I'm determined to clean all my pens before the new year. I really am. I've got quite a few inked up and you know I'm pretty good about it. I, I'm ha I have to clean a lot of them because I use them again for reviews but um, I do have a backlog. Wow that's gonna be awesome. I've never seen this kind before. But let's put these things aside because we tend to we tend to get really excited about the ink around here. <laughs> and of course the pen goodies, but let's see here. Let's get right in and see what we can do. <laughs> I usually have scissors, but oh no, I do. Okay. <laughs> get a little excited. Wow. Seven exclusive colors. Can't beat that. My goodness. You can't buy them in a store, I don't think. But I'll have to find out what the future is for these formulas and what the formulas might be. And that may be a secret. I don't know. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine at this point. But let's just get right started. I want to make sure. Okay. Well, the first one I picked up says Ink Journal Holiday Blend Pumpkin Pie. So let's let's see what it looks like. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> Well, I guess I'll try not to be too messy because I didn't put anything underneath here, and that's probably just as well. <laughs> the one I do have has probably got addresses and everything else on it. So, okay, let's see about this first ink. 
Uh huh. Now we'll keep in mind as we go here that they're going to dry. This is 140 pound watercolor paper. So a lot of times when the ink first goes down, it doesn't look like it's going to. But interesting, very interesting. It does kind of look like pumpkin pie already. Okay, I'll try not to take forever. I, I tend to be a little bit uh, time consuming when I do these, but in making the video, I don't want it to take all day. <laughs> For you that are watching, anyway. Okay. Let's get that down. Uh, I think this time, I also do something down below. Um, I do dabs of ink because <clears throat> I come back in later and I um, put water on to see how the ink reacts to water. That's part of my process that I like. To see but uh, we won't do that on camera we'll come back and visit this panel in the next video is what we'll do but we will get the little splotches down because that way they'll dry and then I'll come back in <clears throat> and I'll find out how they react to the water uh, and you will too because you'll see it <clears throat> unless we happen to have enough time to do some of them but I've got a little situation with my camera so I want to make sure I don't uh, crowd my um my memory card or it will be a real big problem for me let's see let's write just the name we know it's ink journal holiday blend so I'm just gonna write down pumpkin pie cool Ooh, that's really unique isn't it I don't know that I've seen anything like that okay let's see if I can get the right one make real sure that we have a clean brush here and grab another one. Okay, what's next? Douglas fir. Uh-huh. Ink Journal Holiday Blend Douglas fir. Let's see if I don't knock down too many of them while I'm working here. Oh, nice dark. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Now, we've had a few dark inks, greens here because we've been doing viewers choice videos like crazy and, and green did turn up like three greens turned up on the last panel that was voted for so I know there are a lot of green fans here and I'm becoming one of them too I hadn't really found the greens I liked <clears throat> in fountain pen ink until I started doing reviews or profiles I guess is what I like to call them <laughs> <clears throat> mm, this is pretty now I've seen that I've seen platinum I have some platinum mix free I think it's a brown color but I've never experimented with mixing my own inks not yet I mean you know I'm just about two years back into the hobby so it is something I've thought about more as I hear more about it very very interesting the idea that you could come up with something unique really does appeal to me. Okay, whoops, okay, so that went on real dark, so I'll go ahead and let it get lighter in places. <clears throat> Those of you who know know that I just I dab another kind of paintbrush on and, and then put lots of water so that we can just see what happens and it gives us a pretty good idea of it, it even shows some chromatography, you know, and it's really interesting usually. So, But I'm speaking to anybody who hasn't been around before. It might be your first <laughs> video here to see on my channel. Okay, Douglas. Douglas fir, awesome. Which leads me to another thought. If you like videos like this, you know, playing in ink and looking at uh, pens and things, um, feel free to subscribe and hit that button where you can be notified when I have a new video. I tend to do quite a few videos because I like it so much and I like connecting with pen people. So, Okay, this one is called Sugar Plum. If we could get focus, it would just be wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Oh! Oh! Two mils is not going to be enough of this one. Oh, this is just gorgeous. 
Oh my gosh, I play with a lot of ink, but I don't, I don't remember seeing one like this. Yikes, I'm going to have to send an email and find out if this is, you know, a top secret thing or if maybe we might get a recipe or we might have an opportunity to purchase. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> a recipe would be good. <laughs> oh, it's purple, but it is definitely a special purple. Oh my goodness, that's pretty. <clears throat> I can't help it, that is. All right, if I wasn't trying to be so picky, could be done by now. I don't actually, I, I never hurry this. It's just that, you know, I don't have a long, long uh, <clears throat> amount of recording time for reasons that are very strange. <laughs> okay, let's put that on there. Oh my goodness, two mils. Not enough. And I know it's sold out, too. I heard that, that it was a sold-out flight. <clears throat> and that happens in, in real flying, too, this time of year. <laughs> well, lots of times a year, but wow. Okay, that's pretty. <clears throat> Kudos for that one. Oh, wow. Sugar plum. Oh, my goodness. Make sure that's tight. I don't want to lose a drop of that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's see what's next. Check in on our time. Okay, we're not going to crash or anything so far. Okay, this one says... Snowmageddon. Ink Journal Holiday Blend Snowmageddon. Oh, boy. I'm not in snow country this year. We did have snow last year in South Texas, just a little. But uh, we, we're not expecting it this year. Oh, did I, like, fail to do a shimmer ink? No, I don't think so. I think that, oh, isn't that unique? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that does kind of make you think of glistening snow when it gets blue like that. That's pretty. Oh, my goodness, this is unique. This is exciting. Okay, I've been having really bad luck with, like, getting ink on my jeans. So, I, I, I've, I've had great luck cleaning it off because I freaked out. I've only got, like, two pair that fit me because I've been, I've lost 30 pounds. And so I, like, have this stain stick. I'll have to show it to you sometime. It's a, it has OxyClean stain fighters. And I managed to get um, Bunga Box Lamont after, off of my jeans. There's not a trace of it, and I couldn't believe it. But I really scrubbed and I, I let that stain stick stuff sit on there because I thought this is not happening. I, it just can't. So I ought to be wearing my apron. I sometimes do, but <clears throat> that was, it was, you know, really lucky that it cleaned out. I don't know how it did. <laughs> I guess probably the immediate, I mean, I ran out of here and stripped the pants off and got them in the cold water right away and got the stuff on them <laughs> too much information okay wow that is pretty that is nice so this this definitely is a holiday kind of feel to it <clears throat> very nice <laughs> i like the name too snowmageddon let's see if we can spell that <clears throat> no um a g -G. Oh, wow. Cool. All right. That's four. Let's go for number five. That's a nice lineup so far, isn't it? I hope you can see it good. And everything's starting to dry, so. Burnished gold. Okay, let's hold that up so you can see it, maybe. Ink journal. Holiday blend. Burnished gold. Mm, I don't have much gold in my ink. <clears throat> Oop, let me pop that okay, I always like to check the bottom just to make sure they're not shimmered. Aha. Uh -huh. That does kind of look like a patinaed uh antique -y kind of gold like a uh 
I don't want to say tinsel, but almost. I mean, that we used to have some that was kind of like that. Everything's changed now for decorations. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm using the wrong word. I think the word I was after was garland because tinsel would be something else. <laughs> oh, brother. Well, oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. It reminds me of something, but I can't think what. In terms of ink color, I mean, something I've seen recently. Not not the mustard one, I don't think. But, I, you know, it does. It just reminds me of something. Now this is going to look really good on Tomoy River paper. I know, I know it will in a broad nib. I could tell already, huh? Because those colors do seem to look really good. I'm gonna see in a in a broad nib on the right kind of paper, really nice. Let's see. Let me see. If they say anything about it? Brownish amber. Okay. It's cool. All right, I'm being entirely too picky. <laughs> okay, burnished gold. Oop, my pen has shown signs of of quitting. I hope it doesn't. Burnished gold. Cool. Okay. Get it in the right place so I don't duplicate. Okay, oh, now we're moving over to the other color I love, silver, silver bells. What have I done? Gotten the, I got the label wet. <clears throat> it wasn't like that. I can feel that it's wet. Whoops. Well, that's just not fun to look at an unfocused uh, vial. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. I'm distracted. I can smell um, pumpkin spice going on in the kitchen. My husband is baking <laughs> again. <laughs> Yummy stuff, but I, I am on a low-carb diet, so um, very, very little of that kind of thing is being... Oh, I love this. Of course, I love gray, and I love silver. Oh, this is really nice. Is this the one that it said something? This lightly saturated gray has a beautiful shading quality and understated appearance on the page. Ooh, I've got a pen friend that loves that kind of ink. At least one that I know of. <laughs> she knows who she is. <laughs> and I use silver up here. This was a gel, um, glitter gel pens that I borrowed from my husband. Okay. Right on there. That is pretty. Wow, this is really unique. <clears throat> And I noticed, as I was glancing over that paper, that it said there's a place to go to learn how to use the chromatography strips, which is good because, you know, I just know a little bit, and my attention span is pretty rough until I really practice something hands-on. You know, people have told me what to do, and I've read it, but I'm, I, oh wow, that has shading even on this uh, watercolor paper. So, uh, from what I've seen of inks, yeah, this is definitely going to be pretty. <clears throat> in a nib, you know, it's going to shade for sure. You could tell. That's nice. Oh, wow. These are like gold, these samples, because cause I don't know whether this is it <laughs> forever or whether we'll be privy to some sort of a, a formula, recipe, however they call it. I don't know. I'm going to find out. <laughs> Silver bells. Okay. You know, I'm just realizing I didn't give the usual warning not to watch this if you didn't want a spoiler. So I'm going to have to really label it on the hmm, on the front end, I guess. Oh, mercy. I, it's too late now. I've done opened it and used it. <laughs> okay, one more, which is... Ink Journal Holiday Blend Candy Cane. Looks like we're going to have a red, guys. Let's see. All right. Oh, my goodness. This will put you in the holiday spirit. <laughs> Look at that. Can you see that color? 
That looks pretty. <clears throat> oh, wow! <laughs> you can almost smell the mint, right? The, those, those candy cane type. Yummy. I smelled it. It doesn't smell like candy. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, this is really fun. Okay, now I'm working around wet ink and my tripod. <laughs> but it looks like we're going to win the day. We're going to get these on here. I haven't yet crashed the camera, but it's coming close. Okay. i got to remember not to smudge and smear not to wipe my hands on my jeans <laughs> make sure I'm not gonna get that there okay down in the other corner I'll write down what the pen goodies were this is kind of a little keepsake actually each time I'm kind of enjoying these panels because I have it to keep and then I can kind of go back and look at them and be reminded of what we did and what colors there were but this is really special wow that's just it's really bright and, and it looks really pretty. I hope you're seeing what... Yeah, I think you are. I think you're actually seeing... I've got good light to the left, natural, and then I've got my overhead to the side there. It's not too too bad. Wow, this is nice. Oh, pretty. Okay, I'm going to label that and then we will be complete. Candy cane. Oh my goodness, beautiful, beautiful inks. And the inks, the pen flush, which I have a recipe I haven't made yet, and I, but I've never actually had pen flush in my house, so that is cool. And then the chromatography strips, which I can learn because it says here, there's a, an address. It says to find more information on how to use the paper, type the link below. Yeah, and read the post. Okay, and then uh, something to clean, clean with. Awesome, and it has the Ink Journal logo on it. Wow, Superior Ink Flight. Awesome, awesome. What do you guys think? These are pretty inks. Oh my goodness, I'm really excited. I this one and this one just woo wow me totally. You know, but those are my colors. I I totally love um, silver and purple. And I love the other colors too, but those two just really, really get to me. So, okay, I'm going to have to end the video so that I can deal with my technical issues. And then um, I'll come back after I've uh, ap applied the water. We'll, we'll do another look at these because now I, I have to decide whether to profile each one of these. Um, throw in the comments what you think about that. And meanwhile, I'll email Tom and find out whether this is completely it or whether we might be able to get formulas or recipes or, um, you know, I don't want to like just show it if there's no hope of, of being able to uh, get some more or make some more or whatever. Uh, and yet, unless you guys want to see it, irregardless, then, you know, it's always fun. It's always really fun to explore these inks. So we'll, we'll decide together. We'll figure it out. And thank you for viewing. Um, hope you enjoyed seeing this reveal. Uh, I've been waiting, waiting, and it's fun. It's fun to finally be able to get to it and have, uh, uh, you know, the other series all, all tied up, done. So, all right, I better go for now. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.